the next product we've got to look at, Bob, if I could just move you slightly to the right, um, is the ACX. Now, friends, I recently spent a couple of days with Bob at Rail Live, and we got to play with this piece of kit. I liked it so much, I asked him to bring it today, and Jamie's going to be demonstrating it for us. Talk us about the ACX power ascender, what it's used for, how it works. It's a state-of-the-art machine in terms of load, functionality, construction, testing, certification. It's certified against the machinery directive, both for lifting people and equipment. So in terms of applications, anywhere where you're going to be moving people up or down, um, or equipment up or down, it's got a role to play. Um, it can be used for dragging things horizontally, so we're talking about tunnel work inspections. So if we look at sort of industries or applications, it's massive in the renewables industry. The access and, and work on blade inspection has been greatly improved by the use of power ascenders. We have hydro dams, hydroelectric facilities where they have real inspection issues, getting down and inspecting the inside of these tubes. Mm -hmm for rope access or just for a normal person to access these places is really difficult and really uh, hard work. It takes a lot of effort. But by using a power ascender, we reduce the effort on that person. In any application, you get used in stage, lighting, rigging, um, telecoms, utilities. You can use it in construction, in um, picking and warehousing systems. It's really a simple device to use and the technicians who use them are always inventing new ways and new techniques and great ways to use it. Skylar Tech will run training courses for end users and instructors to show them how to use it properly and safely. But after that, as long as you follow those principles, you can take it and use it in such a wide variety of areas. We have different models for different applications. For work done in the rainforest in the Amazon, we have a petrol model so people can get up and access those canopies. So for real distance and wilderness, we have a product for that. We have a product for uh, working in wet environments or muddy environments for rescue with the RCX. So we have a whole family of them. And AxeSafe, which is part of the Skylar Tech family, were the inceptors of powered access devices. So we really have been doing it longer than anyone else on the market. It's fantastic that you can rig it for both equipment and people. It feels to me like, I, mean, I don't know a great deal, but it's supposed to mean it's a bit of a game changer in terms of time saved. Um, when you're saving time, the cost of having people on a job, it seems like a great, a great piece of kit to yeah. bring in. You're going to save time. So saving time is going to save money. If you're going to save time, you're probably saving energy and effort. If we're saving the energy and effort, it really changes who can do jobs, how often they can do jobs and how long. But now we can look at maybe people who aren't as strong or maybe not as skilled, so whether they're an inspector who's not done rope access or they're someone who maybe can't do a full eight-hour shift on the rope but is really technically competent, mm. with a power ascender you can get those people up there and get them working. The job's the technical part, so whether they were an electrician, yeah, NDT, yeah. inspector, whatever, we can now get those people up and into place much quicker and much simpler. Being able to complete the jobs quicker means we can do more jobs and companies can earn more money. Getting people to work in a more sustained way means that we can extend the careers of people without breaking their body so much. So we can increase the lifespan of not only the, the equipment and other things, but also the people doing it. And if we do that, we can retain knowledge and expertise because by the time you're 40 or 50 and your body's starting to really re regret some of those hard days on site, <laughs> you can still get up there and work even when you're not quite feeling as sprightly as we did once upon a time. Yeah. And you've got the twist grip, which will take us up and down, but also it's got a remote control for use from the ground as well. We have a Bluetooth. Um, it works for about 150 metres and it really opens up the applications. So it could be part of your rescue procedures. If you needed to lower someone down, you just press a button and down they come. So your rescue is really quick and simple then for that first immediate response. We can use it, say if we're lifting loads up a transmission mast, you might have a mast which is 150 metres high. We can start at the bottom with a remote control and send it up, but then when it gets to that last metre or so, the technician at the top can take control. Yeah, so the machine will always have control, can always override. Yeah, so one doesn't cancel out the other. Exactly. Well, what a great piece of kit. I'm going to have to see whether we can get an ICX here to play with in the near future.